There are many things you have to be cautious about as a pet owner during the summer. One silly mistake and careless thought can affect your pets in a harmful way. To explain more is Dr. Janice Price from the Windmill Animal Hospital. Dr. Janice Price, how are you doing today? Doing good. It's is, getting hot out there. <laughs> does it get busier during this time of the year for you guys? Yes, it gets much busier in the summer and it gets quieter during the winter. And especially with something like heat stroke and heat stress, correct? We see a lot of it and it's completely preventable. That's why it's so troubling when we have to deal with it so much. Well, let's talk about the differences between both because it's similar to us humans. Exactly. Well, we think of heat stress as where a pet's body temperature rises. They're panting as hard as they can, but they cannot keep themselves cool. Their core temperature reaches up to 105. They start getting woozy, yeah. and they start, they're getting into trouble, but everything that's going on is reversible. There's no irreversible harm done. Heat stroke is where their body temperature has gone in excess of 106, 107 degrees. Their brains, their kidneys, their liver, their heart have been damaged, and it's very difficult to save them. And hard to fix. I love to mention that anything higher than 80 degrees, leave your dogs at home? Well, if you have a snub-nosed breed, that's a Shih Tzu, a Lhasa Apso, a Bulldog, there's a lot of them out yeah. there, Boston Terriers, anything that looks like it got its face smashed against the wall. <laughs> At any rate, they cannot cool themselves normally like yeah. a Collie or a German Shepherd. And so they get overheated very easily. That's why the airlines won't even ship them anymore. Oh, wow. And so if you have a snub-nosed breed, especially a Bulldog, if it's 80 or higher, it's too hot. Just leave them at home. Leave them at home. Don't take them outside. Well, speaking of home, because I know there's a lot of things people like to do back in the backyard. Right. Uh, for us, we would like to hang out there. We have the accessibility to water, but there are things that people should be aware about. We have that full screen information as well. Pets, yeah. Right. Well, pets need shade. Mm -hmm. They need to be out of the sun. They need moving air so that they can pant. When they pant, they salivate, and the evaporation of the saliva cools them down. They're like a water-to-air intercooler, right. and they need cool water. So if you have a bucket for, of water for your dog and it's on the west side of the house, it may be at a boiling temperature in the afternoon. He may not be able to drink. So you've got to provide shade, moving air, cool water. Now, one fun thing you can do is make ice cakes for your dogs. That's always good. <laughs> <laughs> so, so this is doing something fun. I mean, get a bucket or a bunt pan and put some water in it and, and put it in the freezer until it's slushy. Then tuck in dog toys and veggies like green beans and so carrots. So they see that almost. And you can even use the non-fat low-sodium chicken broth a little bit and then fill it on up and freeze it. And then they have something nice and cool to lick on and play with and enjoy and it'll keep them out of trouble. Both uh, heat-wise and getting into this. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> Makes it easier on both ends. Now, let's also talk about uh, cracking the windows in the cars because I know people tend to also yeah. bring cars or pickup trucks. It's real easy. The rule of thumb is if it's too warm for you to sit in your vehicle with the windows cracked, it's too warm for your dog. Don't do it. They will die. Mm -hmm. We see it way too often. And I can't tell you how many times I've been at a restaurant and I see the windows down about this much and there's a dog sitting on the console with his tongue hanging to his knees and he's getting into trouble. And my husband knows what's going to happen next. Yeah. I go to the maitre d' and we page to, for someone, whoever the vehicle belongs to, to go get their pet out of trouble. And it frustrates you. Oh, and it's I know what else. I know what else frustrates <laughs> you real quick is leaving your dogs at the bed of the tr and the, uh, truck. Yeah, we're in ranch country and lots of folks carry their dogs in the back of their pickup truck. Well, if you can't sit on the tailgate of your truck because it's too hot and it's going to burn through your yeah. britches, it's too hot for your dog to stand back there. So, Enough said. In fact, two days ago, I was running an errand, and I heard a dog crying in the back of a pickup truck. So my head swiveled around, and it, this dog was like this. It was too hot. He couldn't Aww. stand there. And I tried to chase him, but I didn't catch up with him. <laughs> an advocate as well. Yes, I'm obnoxious. <laughs> Dr. Price, thank you so much for being here. I love it's the information my, as well. well it's my pleasure. Time. I want to prevent this problem. I don't want to have to treat any heat stress or heat stroke. It's preventable. As simple as that. Thank Common you sense. so much. Thank you. Again, if you'd like to get your pet with great care, you can visit uh, Dr. Price at the Windmill Animal Hospital. They're off Windmill Circle. The number to set up an appointment is on your screen. They're even open on Saturdays. Also, their information is in their Facebook page. Don't